let's get into the difference between rich and wealthy today. So a rich mindset is when you're prioritizing cash and material items. And in my opinion, the consequence of a rich mindset is that it's never enough. I saw this a lot when I lived in LA where people would get a raise, people get a promotion, and they'd immediately, like less than three months later, be like, I need more. I'm like, bro, you just got more. But it's never enough if you have a rich mindset. There's always going to be more money. There's always going to be someone with more money than you, a flashier car than you, probably more bottles than you, flying on more private jets than you or whatever. And I get it. People work really hard to go from the mud to becoming rich. But then people need to move from, okay, you're out the mud. You are rich. But let's be wealthy. Let's get to the next phase. Like, it did not end with rich. Now, I get it. You got to be rich to get to wealthy. I, it's not like you're going to go from the mud to wealthy. That's never going to happen. But shifting your mindset from just cash and money to freedom and independence and the ability to choose is really, really important. So let's say you're a nine-to-fiver and you're trying to think about, like, what is a, from going from a rich mindset to a wealthy mindset looks like? Going from rich to wealthy as a mindset might look like this. You get your cash bonus at the end of the year, call it $10,000. And rich you would be like, I'm about to go to Nordstrom and I'm about to buy those pairs of shoes that I wanted. Like, what are you talking about? Or I'm about to go to Sephora and I'm about to rack it up, right? And I'm going to treat myself. Wealthy you is going to say, you know what? I'm going to take that $10,000 and I'm going to spend $800 a month on somebody who's going to come into my house and do my laundry, and clean up the house, and make sure that all my clothes and everything is folded. And they're going to do that every month for the rest of the year. So that I have more time, and I have more freedom, and I'm not doing something I don't like to do. That is the wealthy mindset. It's being willing to spend the money on something that's going to bring you joy beyond just the quick moment of buying an item. So one of the things that I want to tell you guys about my experience with my wealth journey, if you will, when I first started off being a founder, I made no money. I made negative money. In fact, I was bootstrapping the business and I was spending all of my discretionary income from my day job on the company. So I was very cash poor, if you will, but in some ways privileged too, because I had the cash to even start spending money. So the first things that I did with my discretionary income was hire people. I had a fellowship program for Blavity and we paid people for the fellowship, but it was really just coming out of my personal bank account, you know? And we did that for maybe like six months. And then I raised my first round of funding. And when I raised my first round of funding, and this is what where a lot of people make a mistake, you raise your first round of funding and then you change a lot of things because you just got money in the bank. And what I did instead and this is the wealthy mindset, is that, okay, now that we have money in the bank, how are we going to 2X this money? And that doesn't mean I'm going to pay myself because I'm going to work as hard whether I'm making money or not. So paying myself actually is just taking cash out the bank that I could use to pay our first video hire, Sankara, who's behind the screen now, or our first salesperson, who I think was Shane, so that we could actually make more money, right? So that mindset of saying, all right, I'm willing to make a short-term sacrifice so that I can have a more sustainable lifestyle and freedom was really, really critical. And I think that was my first transition from, okay, we've got money to, all right, how am I going to sustain to make sure that this money is translating into freedom? And when I say freedom, I mean the ability to choose. When you spend all this money, sometimes you get stuck in a lifestyle and then it's hard to go backwards, right? So I kept my roommates when I first raised money. Then when we moved into an office, I lived in the office. We had one side of the office was the office. The other side was my bedroom. I raised about $6 million, maybe a little bit more. My first round of funding. And then that's when I started to take a salary for the first time that was like, significant. But even then, I think my salary was barely like six figures, like maybe like $110,000. And mind you, we had millions of dollars in the bank. But again, that willingness to say, okay, we're going to keep our overhead low while we're building so that every single dollar that's invested is invested in something that's going to get us 10x return or 5x return. 
So fast forward a little bit, you know, obviously my business is, has done really, really well. And I'm at a new place where, you know, I'm not just paying myself barely six figures anymore and we could afford that. So I got my wealth manager for the first time and I was meeting with him and, you know, I have multiple businesses. I have my the Bond & Co. business and then I have, you know, Blavity, of course. And then I do you know, brand deals and all these different things. So I was meeting with him about my finances and I was talking to him about some of the brand deals that I was doing. And he made a really good point. And it was the first time that I'd heard someone really explain it to me this way. But he was like, you actually need to shift your mindset from wanting to get cash to wanting to get assets because you're at the point in your life where more cash doesn't actually change your trajectory, but having more assets gives you the freedom to leverage to do the things that you really want to do. And he had me do this exercise, which I really encourage everyone to do. And I tell everyone about it, which was write out if you were just like, as rich as you could possibly imagine, write out what you actually would do in a day, what you would do in a week, what you would do every quarter, what you would do every year. So your vacations, you know, if you want a chef, if you want a driver, if you want to have someone do your makeup every day, if you have, want someone to pick out your clothes every day, if you want people like whatever you view as freedom and enjoyment and leisure, write it out. And then go look up how much that actually costs you to have. What was really interesting about that exercise was that I thought it was going to cost me probably like 2x what it actually would cost me. And then the next thing that he had me do said, okay, how much money do you think you're going to need to have to be able to afford to spend that every year? And what was also really interesting about that was the lifestyle that I wanted really only wound up being about like $50,000 a month. Now, $50,000 a month, don't get me wrong, is a lot of money. You know, 50,000 times 12, you got to make about $600,000 a year post-tax cash. Like, it's, that's, you're in the top 1% of the 1% of the 1%. And I recognize that. But when I found out it was only $50,000 a month, I was like, I think I can't get there. Like, I don't think I need to wait till I'm 50 to live this life if that's really what I want to do. I've definitely changed how I've, I've, you know, my relationship with money and even how I consider my investments, whether that's angel investments or real estate investments, you know, really trying to get to that point where how I spend my time is not tied to the amount of income that I want to make. How I spend my time is about really fully being embraced by my purpose in life and not worrying about money, but worrying about the impact that I'm making in the, with the work that I'm doing. And if there's ever a time in which I want to step away from working, it won't matter. It won't actually change the quality of life or the freedom that I have with my time. So I hope that this helps you guys and inspires you to also build that wealthy vision for yourself.